Hello guys, welcome back. In my previous video, I showed you how insanely fast inference does Grok uh, provides. And then in the second one, I showed you how you can use the model from the Grok website to create a simple retrieval augmented generation, right? In this video, let's not make things complicated. But what I am trying to show you is create a copilot in a Visual Studio Code. And we will be using the code GPT for that. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first, you need to install the Visual Studio Code. Just install this in your preferred machine. Once that is done, the first step is completed, right? And the second step is you need to open the uh, Visual Studio Code and let's say download the Code GPT extension. So if you want to go with the Code GPT, what it does, you can just go through this but we don't even need to create an account for this for that what i'm going to use is use the code that i have shown you before for creating the react chat with pdf to explain how we can get information about the code using that model you can use any code you want here i have used on this react chat with pdf i went inside that repository i created or say activated the virtual environment now i can open that in VS Code. You can open in any way. But now this is open in VS Code, right? The next thing, as I said, you go to this extension here. And here, just search for Code GPT and choose the right one. The second one, which says Code GPT, Code GPT chat and AI agents. We will install this. And yeah, that's it. We don't even need to sign in for now. But if you want to use the uh, pro version or plus version of code GPT, you can sign in, but we don't need to even sign in. So this is done, right? I can cancel this. Once this is installed, you can see there is this code GPT chat on the left uh, side here, right? If you open this one, now it will say, okay, I have already tested this. So it is shown here, this Grok uh, Lama 2. I think it's Grog, right? I'm always saying Grok, and that is from the Twitter or X now. But yeah, you can just go here now and choose the providers, right? By default, it will be code GPT plus and you need to choose the model. And if you go here, it says, okay, choose a model, right? The next thing now is you need to go to the uh, console of Grog. So Grog Cloud, I will provide the link in the description or you can just follow my videos here in order to get in-depth information how to use Grog and how fast it is. I have explained all the things there. But go to this API keys and create a new API key and just give some name here. I have already tested before with code GPT. Just give any names, submit, and there is API key. Now we need to go to the Visual Studio Code. We select the Grog from here. If you scroll here, you will see different providers. Just choose Grog from here and you need to set connection. Click this one and paste the API key here and then do connect. Once you do the connect, you can see there is a green light here setting set LLM connection. That's it. We now have a connection. Now what you can do is just go here and choose any models. You, let's go with the Llama 2. You can go with any of these. Llama 2. And then what you can do is just now maybe just select some code here. Let's select this code and let's tr ask the copilot to explain for us. So I will say explain selected code. And as you can see here, it's that fast. It just went through that and provided, okay, this code block defines two objects, LLM local and the LLM grog, right? So yeah, that's that's all. And if you want to just have a conversation here, and by the way, there are settings also that you can set. If you go to this chat settings, there are window memory. So you can just play around with this. You can uh, make it one, two, three, four, zero, whatever you want to do. And maximum number of tokens also, you can change from here. And there is this temperature you can change here. And now you can just ask this. And one thing what I can do is, let's say I I do something wrong. wrong. I just created this sample function just to show you. I can just say that, okay, let me remove this one from here. Right now it is not correct. So what I will do is I will select this one, go to this terminal and just slash fix. And now as you can see here, it says, uh, okay, this is the course here. Here is a possible replacement. And the good thing is, once you are selecting here, you can insert the code from here. Okay, it's inserted, right? Now, let's say that we want some documentation for this code. Here, we can select this one. 
and say, okay, find a bog, refactor, document selected code, right? I will just click this one. So yeah, as you can see here, here is the example, returns all this, 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 and this. So I, I don't need to, let's say, provide you many examples here, but you get the idea how fast is the inference and it provides correct answers because we have robust models from the Grok. Okay, so one extra thing also what you can do is, if you can see here, there is this thing called open in browser, right? So what you can do, let me open a new chat here. This is, there are many things here. If you see, there is this, even the theme here, okay, light and the dark, the versions, issues, documentation about code GPT. You can click this one and then here on the right side, you can see this is code GPT and things, how you can use this, right? There's the basic things, installation, configuration, and all the things are provided here just to go through this. Let me go and click this chat. So it opens in a new window. You can even go here, open in browser. So yeah, it opens now in a new browser. So what you can do is maybe just let's select all the code here and let me go to the browser. Right, we just opens here. I will say explain selected code. So yeah, as you can see, it selects all the code and it explains so fast here. So the, the summary is here. The code uses the chainlit library for creating a conversation. This, 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 this. So yeah, you can see all the different things are being mentioned here. And now how to get out of it? Let me close from here. And we can just go to our VS code again, right? And here you can click this icon or you can go to this drop down and here edit the connection or you can even go to this icon here and it says connect to grog you can disconnect or you can say read more about grog api and it will take you to the place for example if i go this it says we are taking you to wow.grog.com <laughs> but we don't need to go through that we can just do disconnect and now that is gone so if you now want to select different providers you can just go through here and choose the providers so yeah, that's all I want to show you in this video. Now that I have shown three different uh, videos, one is, uh, let's say the first one is all about Grok. How can you use it? And how fast is the inference? Next one is how to use this in the retrieval augmented generation. And now in this current one, what we did was we created a co-pilot, which helps us in, let's say, writing the code or explaining the code or it's not only that, that here you can just go and ask as many questions as you want, just the normal uh, chat GPT-like interface, right? Okay, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comment section how you find it, because now the API is still free from the Grog. In the future, they said that they are going to provide a charge, of course, and then the rate limit will be reduced. Yeah, interesting times. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.